this is my first time going live on YouTube um so yeah I've been putting it off for a little while um so I thought I'd yeah put it off no longer and make today the day if anybody is wanting to come on live and um, ask for a free reading I am giving free readings today I'll be using the unfolding path tarot which is a new deck that I um have um bought this week I don't know where, why I couldn't think of that word um but yeah it's a beautiful beautiful deck and I just want to get it into some use um so I thought I would come on here and do some live readings um so hopefully hi Natalie yeah you caught me live Natalie it's lovely to see you so yeah I normally do things like this over on my Facebook page um but I am trying to grow my YouTube channel so here I am and um yeah if you help me to grow I'm going to keep on doing coming on and doing these things um so Natalie would you like a free reading would you like a free reading Amy or Debbie whichever one you are <laughs> yes please Amanda is the first one in yes please Carol I am in crisis today okay okay let's have a look is it about relationships is it to do with relationships or is it just a lot of emotional upset um because I feel like you know the knight of cups is saying oh my bleeding heart kind of thing there um I do feel like it will be with relationships or with re connections to others it might not be definitely um you know a romantic relationship but it might be a, rom a, a relationship with someone else but there is something there um i'm going to shuffle and draw another card because that one did fly out there natalie um so let's have a not natalie amanda yes both sorry amanda um is it amanda or ananda it's so smart your partner right okay so let's have a look see what's going on with this oh i do feel like it's you know there is a lot going on you are kind of asked with that knight of cups coming up to go with the flow try not to panic stay calm okay listen and trust to your into your intuition um right okay has there been some some deception um if, this isn't looking great if i'm honest because we've got the ten of swords but she is rising back up and she's gonna shrug this off um i did say one card readings didn't i <laughs> but never mind um we've got the page of of pentacles as well so he's kind of the page of pentacles is looking for more answers he's looking to do some more research there's so there's something else that needs to be found out here okay um so what is it that you need to discover i feel like you got to look into this a little bit further this is something that's brand new that's just come up that has literally thrown you into crisis like you said you've got lots and lots of drama going on there um but i feel like there's more to it that you need to learn before you can process this properly and then be able to figure out a better way to move forward from it okay ananda i hope that is you right okay it is true his love is is it true his his love for you um he's offering you his cup he's offering you his cup and that cup is full of love okay so whatever it has been, whatever the drama is that's surrounding this relationship, um, then I do feel like the love there is sincere for you. Okay, Ananda, um, let's have a look. Can I scroll back? I've never done it on here before, so I don't know. Um, Natalie would like a general reading. Let's have a look for Natalie McGuinness. A little general reading for Natalie McGuinness. Ananda did get three or four cards there, but I am going to limit it to, limit it to um, one card per person. Otherwise, we'll be here all day and I don't have that long. Um, so let's have a look. What do we need to know for Natalie McGuinness? A general reading, please. What message have you got for Natalie McGuinness? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, so I need to get these cards into really good shuffling. Um, so the best way to do that is to, well, uh, yeah, come on and do a live. <laughs> We've got the fool card for you, card for you, Natalie. Is there something new that you're wanting to explore? Um, is there a new direction that you're wanting to move into? A new idea? It's kind of the the fool is is it's just an abundance of energy 
it's, it asks you to follow your heart, to follow your joy more than anything, but it's a wonderful time of transformation. Um, look at situations through a child's eyes, yeah? So be, be very innocent and very playful with the energies right now. Um, and don't be afraid to explore. Don't be afraid to move off in new directions because I do feel like you're being called to do that. Um, and don't let anybody pop that balloon, okay? Do not let anybody pop that balloon for you. Don't let anybody spoil this for you um just be joyful just be very very playful and if you're feeling like if you're about if you're if you're considering moving into something new and you're thinking oh no you know i'm not really sure what if i can't do it properly what if i'm not good enough what if what if what if forget about what ifs on the negative side and start thinking about the what ifs on the positive side okay so what if it all works what if it's all amazing what if it is the next best thing um start looking at it from that that perspective because there is transformation there if you follow your heart and uh, and follow your head as well and um yeah just uh, yeah lots and lots of transformation all in a good very positive way okay so that was for you natalie i hope that that helps um amy is it amy or is it debbie let me know amy let me know, Amy. Let me know. Is it you or is it Debbie? Um, Claire Evans would love a reading. So let me see. Claire Evans. Let's have a look. What do we need for Claire? What message have we got for Claire Evans for her greatest and highest gush? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. We've got the King of Wands. The King of Wands, he is somebody who is just so creative, so passionate about the things that he does, the work that he does, the career that he has. He's often self-employed, so he's a boss, yeah? He likes to be in control of things, but he's always ready to move, again, something else that's moving in a new direction. He's always ready to move things in a new direction. He is very exciting, very curious, very creative. Um, as I said, very, very passionate. And um, he is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at him. He's ready for a lot of fun. But the thing with the kings is they are mature. They have matured into that element of fire, which is that just that warmth, that desire, etc., etc. He knows how to master that. He knows what direction he wants his fire to be growing in. And he, he cultivates it to just be that way. So if this is a person around you, then they are there for you today um, or in the next coming days um, but also if this is you then I want to say what's coming into what just dropped into my head there as well is why are you lacking confidence um you know the confident you you've got the magic within you can do this you can control your own fire you can move things in the direction that you want to go in yeah just be ready for it just be absolutely ready for it. But it's time to master your passions, your desires, your creativity and move it into a beautiful new direction for you. OK, Claire, I hope that that resonates. Please do let me know in the comments. I will see them as I scroll further down. Um, let me see. Do, 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 do. Let me just scroll down. Um, it's Debbie. Right. OK, Debbie. So it's Debbie Gribbons. So what do we need to know for Debbie Gribbons? What do we need to know? General reading for Debbie Gribbons, please. For her greatest and highest good. What message have you got for Debbie Gribbons? For her greatest and highest good for today. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. If you don't already follow me or sorry not follow subscribe uh, if you don't already subscribe to my channel and you're watching this please do hit that subscribe button because i'm going to be coming on and doing these um on a more regular basis as i say this is the first one that i've done it seems to be attracting a, a little bit of attention there so um yeah so i will just continue to do them um so yeah hit the subscribe and the bell button and you'll get notified next time i come on live um the king of cups okay we're getting a lot a lot of um of court cards here so this is for dragon dame no it's not this is for debbie isn't it yeah debbie gribbons debbie gribbons apologies there debbie the king of cups king of cups is a master healer 
okay he's master intuitive as well he can often be very psychic he's very loving very sincere very caring um he's absolutely awesome actually he often makes a very good counselor as well um you are asked to be very flexible over the next few days okay especially in the realms of spiritual things that are happening um but also within relationships so be flexible but take control at the same time okay um be willing and able to go with the flow don't be you know don't be fighting against any restrictions and um, don't be hiding emotions either allow those emotions to come up and acknowledge them so that you can kind of set yourself free from them because the king of cups he is the master of his own emotions he knows emotions inside out and you are being asked with this card to really get to know you and what it is that you desire, what it is that you love, the emotions that are within you. Are there some that you're suppressing, that you're pushing down that need to come out? Because I feel with the King of Cups, he's asking you to start letting them rise to the surface so that you can deal with them and then move forward from them. Um, mastering your emotions is a wonderful, wonderful thing to do and it really does set you free. Okay, I hope that that resonates for you Debbie I really do and apologies for getting you mixed up there um Dragon Dame whose name is Veronica would like a card let's have a look so Veronica what do we need to know for Veronica for her greatest and highest good what do we need to know for Veronica for her greatest and highest good let's have a look What do we need to know for Veronica? Let's see. The death card. Veronica, something is ending in your life, okay? Don't take this as a bad thing. It's not a bad um, kind of omen or anything like that. Life is full of endings and beginnings, and these this ending is bringing you in some blessings. Um, I feel like if you don't take charge of this, so if you don't bring something to a close that you are needing to, then, you know, the universe is going to step in and do it for you. It's always better to be in control of these things. What is it that is holding you back from being the fullest version of you? I want to say, you know, what is it that, where, if you strip back the layers, yeah, strip back the layers. What is it that's not serving you anymore, Veronica? And let it go. Cut ties with it once and for all, because you will literally be setting yourself free, okay? Setting yourself free from physical restrictions so that you can absolutely step into the new beautiful fullness of who you are and who you are meant to be okay it's always a decision and it's your decision to make um but i do feel like if you don't if you are holding on to something that isn't fulfilling you that isn't kind of serving you any longer um then you know this will be removed for you and it might not be as pleasant if you take control and do it for yourself okay the card coming up like this tells me that you know what this is talking about it might be negative thought patterns okay it might be just habits that you do that stop you from you know being the best that you can be um or you know allowing you or stopping yourself from being you know reaching the goals that you're wanting to achieve whatever it might be it might be a situation it might be a work um, related issue or it might be a person in your life um but boundaries are needed yeah, as you clear away the old and as you clear away the old, but do it with the intention that you are creating space for the new because there is definitely something new coming in for you, okay? And it is another card of transformation. And I'm not surprised that we're getting a lot of cards of transformation right now because of all of the things that's been going on up there in the planets with the um, the eclipses and the, the new moon, etc., etc. It is a time of transformation and manifestations as well. So manifest what you want, manifest the good things, not the bad things, okay? Okay. Um, hello there to Lion's Mane Mushroom. I'm laughing because, um, well, well, I'm not laughing. I'm smiling when I see your name there, Lion's Mane, Lion's Mane because um, I recently started taking Lion's Mane and it's amazing the difference that it has made. It really, really is. Um, so, so there you go. That's why I'm laughing. Um, you're very welcome. You're very welcome, Veronica. Um, let's see. It's lovely to see you, Cara. It really is. I'm good, thank you. It has been a long time, and I do hope that you're feeling well. I really, really do. Sandra Saunders would like a card. Let's have a look. 
asked what have we got for Sandra Saunders for her greatest and highest good and um, Debbie is saying thank you so much it all resonates very much fantastic I hope it helps as well um, so what do we need to know for Sandra Saunders what messages have the cards got for Sandra today for her greatest and highest good let's have a look Sandra, we've got the Page of Pentacles, okay? New things for you to explore. Um, it's, this is about really being open to absorb all of the information around. It might be about making new investments in your life and looking at the investments that you can make or where you can invest more wisely, whether that's with your time, um, your work or your finances or your health, okay? It covers all of those aspects. Um, but have a little think, where can you... Ex where can you invest these resources of yours in something different, in something new, something that's going to really reap you some benefits in the future, okay? This is definitely a new energy coming in, um, and it's something that you definitely need to explore, okay? There's something there that you can invest in which will create abundance for you in the future. It's there for you, and it wants you to look further into it, okay? I hope that that helps. That was for Sandra. Um, Anne, hello there, Anne. Lovely to see you. Um, and yeah, I shall draw a card for you, Anne. Debbie is saying, Oh my gosh, Carol, thank you for doing this. My husband lost his job the end of March. Will he find a new job this month? Um, I'm trying to remember what your card was now. <laughs> Let's have a look. Um, I'll come back to you. I'll come back to you. And um, yeah, more synchronicities. My husband, the company that my husband works for has gone into administration. So we're looking at um, dealing with this right now as well. He's still working for the administrators, but um, yeah, it's going to come to an end very, very soon. So yeah, it's difficult times, isn't it? Um, Sandra says that, thank you. She knows what that is. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. And I do hope it helps you in that situation, Sandra. Right, so this one is for Anne, Anne Bloomfield. What do we need to know for Anne Bloomfield for her? greatest and highest good what do we need to know whoops what do we need to know for Anne. let's have a look we've got the eight of cups so something that's not fulfilling you any further Anne. um it's it's really kind of asking you to walk away from something here because something better is waiting for you on the other side okay um and, and when i say the other side i'm talking about the other side of once you've moved away okay something more fulfilling is waiting for you um whatever whatever this is whatever this situation or person or whatever the energy is re relating to for you and it's really saying it did fulfill you once but it's run dry it is absolutely run dry. This is also the, the Eight of Cups is often a spiritual rite of passage card as well. Um, so maybe it's about following spirituality a little bit more. But I do feel that there is definitely something that you used to subscribe to that no longer serves you. And by walking away and moving towards something new that will be far more fulfilling for you. OK, but again, that new thing that's going to offer you more fulfillment it can't come in until you've already made the choice to move away now sometimes it takes a lot of courage to do this um give yourself a lot of compassion give yourself you know some kind of leeway with regards to the emotions that you might be feeling as you move from one situation to the next but it, it is really asking you you know and if it's not about moving away from one thing it's definitely moving towards something better OK, regardless of which way you want to you want to look at it, something better is waiting for you. OK, you've got to make the decision to move towards that. And if that involves leaving something else behind, then so be it. OK, so be it. I hope that that resonates and helps you. And I really, really do. Um, right. OK, have I read for everybody? Um, Lionsman Mushroom, would you like a card? Um, Cara? Um, would you like a card? Still got a few minutes left. Still got a few minutes left. If you would like, if either of you would like a card, then please let me know. Or anybody that's coming in now, because I see a few few extras of you are popping in. Cara, yes, please. Okay, so Cara, Cara Doyle. What do we need to know for Cara Doyle for her greatest and highest good? 
And all we need to know for Cara Doyle for her greatest and highest good. Oh, hi, Beach. Lovely to see you. <laughs> What have we got for Cara? Cara, we have got the Empress card. Something new is coming for you and it is offering a whole load of success, okay? If you have had ideas, I mean, this can be a card of pregnancy, okay? It's a very fertile card. Um, it's a very, very mothering and nurturing card, but it's also very successful, okay? If it's not a child, if you're not um, pregnant right now or you're not kind of looking around that area of things, then this could be that there is something within you that you just need to birth out into the world okay it is ready and it is time to go and everything is blooming this is such a positive card for you Cara it really is beautiful it really really is okay um so embrace those energies embrace these energies because it's very mothering there will be a lot of nurturing that needs to be done but if you can put the nurturing in and that's just you know putting your focus towards something that needs to grow and it will absolutely grow because wherever you put your focus is where things will grow okay and there is abundance look at all of those flowers they're all blooming they're all absolutely beautiful the empress card as well she does represent a lot of luxury it's about really getting comfortable with who you are keeping very grounded and um, getting out into nature as well getting your feet in the muck okay and grounding those energies and start building practical and, and well, sorry getting organized and being very practical in your actions as well okay but it's definitely time for something to be birthed out into the world world okay so enjoy that enjoy that um let me have a look i had written uh, i need da, 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 da. right okay so beat is next it's me it says beat <laughs> it's me and please <laughs> you're very very welcome um okay beat this one is for you what do we need to know for beat for her greatest and highest good whoop there we go it's on the floor let's have a look two seconds and making me work for it three of pentacles beat okay this is a wonderful card of working together teamwork makes the dream work okay teamwork absolutely makes the dream work we've got a lot of busy hands here they're creating beautiful things the bee is busy the the beekeeper is busy and the girl in the background is picking the apples out of the trees it's just about working together to create something wonderful yeah lots of natural goodness in this card as well it is also a card that talks about you know entering into kind of like an apprenticeship um you know starting something new and really building some structure you see how the pentacles are kind of lining up there where it's the very beginning of, of building up something new which is going to be you know expanded upon so maybe it's time for expansion and growth i mean the the card certainly suggests so, okay? And it's ripe for the picking right now. So don't be afraid to open up to the possibilities of growth. Don't be afraid of opening up to the possibilities of inviting new people into your life that you can collaborate and work with well, okay? Because each have their own kind of thing to bring in to whatever it is that you are working on okay it's also a card that tells you you are very supported right now um and you're you're kind of i feel like I just want to say that your your efforts, the work that you've been putting in is it's going to be rewarded. It's going to be rewarded. OK, I hope that that helps. Debbie needs a card on her husband. I need a card on my heart on my husband, says Debbie. Let's have a look. What have we got? What have we got for Debbie in relation to her husband? Let's have a look. So what have we got for Debbie in relation to her husband? Let's have a look. have a look we have got the empress success new things are coming okay um new things are coming again being practical and getting organized um really keep keeping yourself grounded etc etc new things are absolutely coming there is success ahead um and it's, it's definitely something new it's new 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 that's all i'm getting it's something new it will be wonderful and it will be better than what was in the past I hope that that helps. I really, really do. But there is something that needs to be nurtured, needs to be worked upon. Um, and maybe as well, I want to, I'm getting a vision of a different card where it shows the Empress soaring across. It's the Crow Tarot, actually. Um, 
soaring across the top and looking down with the Empress card that she does that. And this is about taking a higher perspective as well. Um, and that is going to help to bring in that success or that nurturing energy that will then bring in that success. OK, um, but there's nothing to worry about here. This is this is a wonderful, wonderful card of new opportunities and um, time for new things to come into your life. OK, so there you go. Anybody else? Anybody else? You had written early. I didn't see it. Be. I didn't see it. Um, Anne says, thank you so much, Carol. Feeling pushed to move to the course next year. Felt very torn, leaving family not too far, though. Could this be the meaning of your card? It could be. Yeah making the decision um, and it doesn't matter that you're it's something that you're thinking of doing later it's just about making the decision that that's what you want to do follow your feelings follow your emotions follow your guidance um, because that is also what that eight of cups is asking you to do okay you do you you do you if you don't fulfill if you don't feel fulfilled right now with where you are then making that decision to move is possibly going to bring you that fulfillment that you're looking for but i do want to say on that note as well is just remember that um you know wherever we go there we are so if you are moving away from something in particular if it's within you it will come with you does that make sense um that was just a little side note but i would say with the eight of cups coming up if that's what you want to do if that's really what's in your heart um then follow that because it, it will bring you fulfillment yeah because it's there it's waiting it's calling you forward um and you just I, if it, if it is to do with that this is something that you'll really be feeling pulled towards and guided towards okay um cara you are very very welcome um thank you says beat uh yeah many things are coming together these days brilliant absolutely brilliant um lisa wood lisa wood um i'll draw a card for you lisa so it's lovely to see you here as I say, if you are new to my channel, um, please do hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button as well. And that way you will get a notification that I've come on live or that there's a new video um, just being uploaded. Um, and that way you won't miss anything. You won't miss out. Let's have a look. What do we need to know for Lisa Wood for her greatest and highest good? We've got the three of wands travel okay lisa a lot of travel exploration this is about moving forward with plans that you've made um your ships have come in because she is literally on the ship <laughs> okay it's often waiting for your ships to come in but this one here she is on the ship and she is sailing towards new horizons um the 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 potential is endless here okay the the joy the passion the desire the just uh, the adventures yeah they're all there waiting to be had and you are moving towards that right now lisa okay so keep on moving in that direction um if you are traveling if you have got holidays planned um then yeah this is saying it's it's going to be gorgeous it's going to be absolutely beautiful OK, so just enjoy every moment and see it as the adventure um, that it is and just squeeze every ounce of excitement out of it. OK, but do that in everything, everything and anything. Yeah, but get ready to get moving. OK, get ready to get moving. It's not a time for dilly dallying right now. Let's have a look. Um, ask about technical issues regarding payments. All right. OK, just a second then. Um, can you ask about technical issues regarding payments for insurance on your new car, please? Right. Well, I would say that because that is a, a travel card, a, a card of movement, so it can be about vehicles, etc., etc., modes of transport. Um, I would say that they're going to start getting moving and things will be put in place and then everything will be will go smoothly from there on in. OK, I hope that that makes sense. Um, you're very welcome, Debbie. Very, very welcome. Da, 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 da. The sea is calling me. Right. OK, that makes total sense. That makes absolutely total sense. Um, so, yeah, go to the sea. <laughs> go to the sea. And there you go. That's your answer. I would absolutely go there. You will feel more peaceful and more fulfilled there. You really, really will. Um, yes, it will. Be. Well, I don't know how I don't know how um, YouTube work. I don't know if the live stay 
on a replay um or what i really don't know um because this is my first time doing one but hopefully it will hopefully it will or at least for a short period of time um hi amber hello there uh, connie connie would like a card please yep no problem connie what do we need to know for connie howarth connie howarth what messages have we got for connie let's have a look what messages do we have for connie howarth for her greatest and highest good what does she need to know let's have a look we've got the king of um ones again yeah new directions mastering your creative abilities yeah what is it that you love to do I feel like as well that this could be a move within your work, Connie. Um, if it's not a move within your work, then it could be moving from working with someone else or working for someone else, should I say, into working for yourself. Um, the King of Wands is somebody who is very, very well respected and looked up to from others. Is someone who, and it could be a she, okay? Don't take gender either which way, yeah? It, it goes either way. Um, so the King of Wands is someone who is really passionate and motivated and you know confident in the skills that he has so if you are feeling lacking in any of that then please know that you don't need to because you know you're, you're amazing and you've got that in you you've got that magic within you and the things that you love to do are the things that you're meant to be doing so please do them um, but maybe you're needing to take things in a new direction is what I'm getting with that if you are then please do it with confidence please source some motivation to get you moving in that right direction and please do it with pride and um yeah and just let the magic from within shine outside of you because that is what you need to do and as i say when we find something that we're good at or that sorry not that we're good at specifically but that we enjoy that we really really enjoy getting in to do like i do with tarot it lights me up i absolutely love tarot um then that is kind of the thing that you need to do more of yeah it's all about thinking and acting creatively as well and um yeah not not shying away not being a kind of wallflower being absolutely up there at the forefront and leading be a leader you were born to be a leader if this is someone else then this is someone you can ask for advice from um generally it is to do with career okay career advancement with the king of wands because he has mastered that that fire yeah, he has mastered the fire, the desire, the passion, um, the spirit within. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful card. I hope that it helps you. You're very, very welcome, Lisa. Um, if I can get my new car insured, I would say yes, because you're going to get moving. So think about it in that sense. It's a vehicle. It's a mode of transport. It's going to be moving. I see you back in your car um, very, very soon. OK, Um Amber A says, have I found the best person to do the work for Kevin? Amber A. So has Amber A found the best person to do the work for Kevin? So this is going to be a simple yes or no. OK, so what do we need to know? Has Amber found the best person to do the work for Kevin? Let's have a look. You're very welcome, Lisa. Oh, thank you, Connie. Thank you. got the eight of cups so i would say that mm, i'm going to pull another card because <laughs> okay the reason i'm saying that is because i it's like a bit of a maybe card yeah um it kind of says there's something else out there but i don't feel like the person that you've got for kevin is the wrong person so i want to pull another card So has Amber found the best person to do the work for Kevin? Has Amber found the best person to do the work for Kevin? Because as I said before, with the Eight of Cups, it's about leaving one thing behind and moving towards something new that will be more fulfilling. So it's it's definitely kind of like a uh, kind of card because um, it's in the middle there. So let's have a look it is for me anyway you'll have other readers say different but it is for me 
yeah, yeah, you have made the right connection. Yeah, they will work together. They will work together really well. That would be a really good coming together. I feel like they're, they're going to connect really well. I feel like they've got the same kind of vision um, of what, or, or you and this person have got the same vision of what they want for Kevin. So definitely um, it bring a lot of enthusiasm in as well. Um, or they will bring a lot of enthusiasm in and a lot of kind of, I feel like somebody who's going to be able to motivate and move things forward for you okay and also put a really good plan into place which is going to really be in alignment with either yours or Kevin's kind of ideas as to how you want things to move forward okay I hope that that helps I hope that that helps so I feel like you've you know this you're moving with the eight of cups it's yes you've moved towards the right place whatever it was that you was in there um for Kevin in the past wasn't working and this new person will Okay, so there we go. We've been on for 35 minutes. It definitely helps. Thank you. You are very, very welcome, Amber. Um, and good luck. Good luck. So, yeah, I've been on for 35 minutes. I'm going to go and get myself a nice glass of water to um, soothe my throat. And, uh, yeah, just have an absolutely awesome, wonderful rest of your day. For those of you, well, I hope that I've covered everybody. I have can only um, read for the people whose comments that I can see, and I'm not sure if... if YouTube shows me all of the comments. Um, but yeah, I have I've done the best that I can with what I can see on the screen there. So thank you very much for being here. If I didn't get around to reading for you, then apologies. Um, but I will be coming on doing more of these. So um, hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye for now. Bye bye. And now I don't know how to end this thing. <laughs> oh dear, how do I do that? Do, 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 do. I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, there we go. I found it. Bye.